Hello, Eric, and anyone else listening at All Weather Roofing and Construction. I am Wynn with Ring and SEO and Digital Marketing. And first of all, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to make this short custom video that Tony promised with tips and tricks on how you can increase your online presence all on your own in return, bring in better bank customers for the services you prefer the most and they are ready and able to purchase. So let's get on with it. So I don't think that you have a website for your business, Eric. Um, and when you do decide to get a website, these trips and tricks will work for you. And I'm also gonna show you what you're missing out on by not having a website. We're gonna go check out their numbers and there's also some other things that I'm gonna to talk to you about. So stick with me here for the next few minutes. I won't, I won't be long. So this is Honest Abe Roofing. Um, they are a very large roofing contractor there in the Macon, Georgia area. And they have a lot of good things going on with their website. And we're gonna talk about what they have going on right and what opportunities they have to do better. So first of all, I wanna talk about how you want to have multiple places where you have your phone number for people to call you on your website. They do need to be click to call since the majority of people searching on Google nowadays are searching on their mobile phones and you don't want them to have to go anywhere else to be able to call from there. Now, you also wanna have a lot of content on your website because what Google is doing is there's 8.5 billion people every day on average searching on Google. A lot of these are your potential customers searching for your exact same services in your exact same area. And all Google is doing is connecting their customers with the very best businesses. And so in order to do that, you want to have unique, helpful content. We do recommend about 1,500 words of unique, helpful content on your homepage and also on any other pages you want to be found for. So you know, the services, like your best services, um, the very best locations, you want to have that content on there. Now, not only do you want to have the content, but you also need to have by your intent, location specific keywords like roofers making Georgia or making roofers or making roofing repair. Now you're gonna be kind of shooting in the dark going by which services you think are going to be the best ones. Personally, if you were our client, we'd be going through and we'd be finding the absolute best search terms with the lowest amount of difficulty so you can get found the fastest but it's a great place to start. Now, not only do you wanna have these keywords within the content, but also every image on your page where it's saved, you want to have it saved with those location specific buyer intent keywords also. Now, besides content, um, some other great things that they have going on is reviews. Um, the, we call these trust emblems. They build trust. Um, also the Better Business Bureau. There's another one right now called expertise.com. That one's huge. Any awards you've gotten from House or Angie's List, any of those things here at the top are gonna transfer trust from the customers to you. You also want to have multiple ways to get around your website. So any of the service pages, you want to have a menu down here to be able to take them to your back pages. All right. So those are just some of the things that we do and that you should do for your website. I also recommend having a sticky header up here so that way people, if they're scrolling, they can just go ahead and click on it. All right. So let's go ahead and go look at some numbers for Honest Abe Roofing. Now, this is Arabs. It is a program that we use. It is quite pricey, but it does tell me a lot about the back end of websites. So let's talk about some most important things that I'm seeing here. First of all, the UR and DR. The UR represents this page's trust with Google, and the DR represents this page's power with Google. Now, as you can see, they have some pretty great numbers. Um, they have almost 47,000 backlinks, but it's only from 500 different websites. So this is definitely something that is doable for you over time. Um, I can tell that these are pretty good backlinks though, because these numbers are very close together. And in my business, that's what we call the golden ratio. And ideally, you want to be about one point um, within each other. So 
these 46,000 are pretty good backlinks. But let's go ahead and talk about the traffic they're receiving. Now, Eric, these this website is across several different states, so this is hopefully a goal of yours. I don't know how big you want to grow your business, but let's just talk about this for a second. So there's 8,500 people on average coming to Honest Abe's website every month. Now, Eric, I'm not telling you that all 8,000 of them are buying from them, okay? That's just unrealistic. You know, a lot of people are just going to look. But let's say out of these 8,000, let's say that 7,000 people were calling their business. And let's say that 3,000 of them, which is less than half, are actually closed and the services are booked. Um, let's say that if you were just starting out and you've been doing your website for a few months, and let's just say that you had 300 people calling your business and booking services with you. What would that look like for your business? Having 300 more people calling every single month without your having to do anything else but pick up the phone. Personally, that's huge. That's huge for a business for me. So these are goals, but just being more realistic is it would be great. So the last thing that I do want to talk to you about is the Google Map Pack. Now, I put in Roofing Macon, Georgia, and so this is going to be the very first thing that people see. It's the Google My Business or the Google Map Pack. And let's talk about what it takes to get to the top of that. So the very first thing are citations, and all a citation is is your name, address, and phone number across different directories across the web. So you want to make sure that your name, address, and phone number is the same across these different directories and websites as it is in your Google My Business section. And you do want to make sure they are niche relevant, so you can do any kind of roofing, construction directories, you could do home and garden directories, home and garden websites, I mean there's just, the, the list is endless for what would be good websites for you to be able to put your name, address, and phone number on. Now also, whenever you do a job, take some before and after pictures and go ahead and upload them to your Google My Business page. You do want to make sure you save these images the same way you did on your website by having the location specific buyer intent keywords and then also go ahead and geotag them and this is going to do several different things for you. First of all, it's going to tell Google that you are actually doing these services in the area that you said you're doing it. It's going to tell them that you're doing a good job and it's also going to tell them that you care about the job that you're doing, which is huge to Google. The next thing we're going to talk about is reviews. Of course, you want to make sure you have as many five star reviews as you possibly can. Now, if you do get a not so great review and that is anything less than a five, you want to respond back to them as quickly as possible, ideally within a day. And that's going to show Google that, again, you really care about the work you're doing and your customer's experience. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you about is your business description. And you do have up to 750 words to utilize. Now, I recommend going to a free website like wordcounter.com to be able to use all 750 words or as close as you can get to that. Go ahead and list out every all your different services. And then also, what sets you apart from your local competition is huge. So, Eric, I really hope that you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, we would really appreciate some feedback about the video. And I just hope you have a great day. Take care. We look forward to talking to you. Bye-bye.